Okay, so P8.5 gears and levers. So basically, the first thing you need to know about um, levers is that the longer the handle, the bigger the moment that you can create. So if you look at this one, for example, this would be some sort of crowbar or similar, where this bit here is the pivot. That's the length of the handle. And that's the length of the other side. You can see this length here is much smaller than this length here. And if you remember from your moments, that moment is force times distance. So the two ways that you can make your, mo your moment of your um, lever bigger is either by making the force bigger or by making the distance from the pivot bigger. So that's the key thing about levers and anything where you're acting at a distance and putting a turning effect on. That's what that's what it's all about. And it's known as a force multiplier. Because if this handle here is 10 meters and this little bit here is one meter, for example, and I put 100 newtons in here, then I know that that moment is 100 times 10, which is 1,000 newton meters. And I know that I'm going to get the same number of newton meters here. My distance there is one, so that means in this case it's 1,000 uh, newton meters equals 100 equals the force times by one meter. So that means the force is 1,000 newtons. So you can see that the force is 10 times bigger because the distance is 10 times bigger. And that's where the name force multiplier comes from. Okay, next one is gears. Gears do the same thing, but instead of multiplying the force, they multiply the speed. So if you imagine that you put a big cog and a little cog, the big cog, if the big cog's turning, they both have to travel at the same speed, but this one has got to cover. Um, distance like that. So if this one is um, 10 times bigger than this one, then this one will go around 10 times. So it's the circumference of this one. So, so you've got to remember that uh, 2 pi r will be the circumference. And if that circumference there is 10 times bigger than this circumference, so each time this goes around once, this one will go around 10 times. And if you imagine that that is then attached to the wheel of your car, for example, um, then this wheel of your car will go around 10 times faster than this one. And if this one came from your engine, then this one, this wheel here goes around um, one tenth as many times as this one. And then this one be your wheel. Then this is known as being in a high gear. And you remember that, that one's the big one, that one's high. Okay, so in a high gear, you get you have a high speed because the wheels go around fast. That's this bit here. But you have a low turning effect. And that's because the distance from the pivot here, so that distance from there to the pivot is smaller than the distance from here to here. So that's your, it's your uh, radius. So this radius is much bigger than this radius. So force times distance. So you're applying your force at the distance from the shaft here. Um, so that's going to have a bigger turning effect than this one. Because this one's applying the force at a much smaller distance. So it's going to have a low turning effect. OK, and then if we imagine the other way around. So if we've got the engine here, we have a nice small cog there. And then that's connected up to a big cog. And if this has come from the engine, then this one would be a, um, each time this one, this one goes around 10 times, this one goes around once, which means that the engine will be turning over 10 times faster than the wheel. So this one has got, um, so this one is a low gear, because this one's small. which gives you a low speed but a very high turning effect basically the opposite way around to the last one so the 
engine is connected, so these are on the axles. So, and if you've got the cogs here, so this is your cog, and it's connected to a big cog. Then each time this one turns round, this one would only turn round a tenth of the time if, it was, if this one was ten times smaller than this one. And that means that the wheel will only turn round a tenth of the time that this one has. So it depends. And then so this one is like a speed multiplier, and the other one's a force multiplier. 